We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Brahim Sanu, who is the Director of the Telecommunication Development Bureau at BDT for ITU. Mr. Sanu, thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio today. Great pleasure. I'd like to start off by asking you about the conference itself. We're here in the second week of the conference. What have your impressions been so far of the conference? The conference has just been great. You know, to gather in such a conference more than 1,300 people coming from more than 140 countries in the world and 105 private companies is just great. In very good atmosphere of work where everybody was positive, where we're talking about development, which is really a common denominator to all of us. It was just great. I'm so happy about what is happening in this conference. And if you follow the discussion we're having over the past two weeks, where we're just talking about development, how do we make impact on the life of people? How do we put a human face on the ICTs? Just great. At the end of this conference, the Dubai Action Plan will be adopted. What does this mean for the future of development and ICTs? The Dubai Action Plan is setting the work plan of the ITUD for the coming four years. The most important in this Dubai Action Plan is that it was, is that being established based on result-based management principles, which means that we'll be caring more about impact than activities. And this is very important. It's a paradigm shift for ITUD and BDT, I'm very happy to be directing the BDT at the time this is adopted because we'll be focusing more on the impact we are making by our work, the impact we are making on the government institution, private organization, and more importantly, the impact we'll be making on the ordinary people's life. What kind of feedback, what kind of comments have you been hearing at the conference? I've been hearing only positive, positive comment about this conference. Everybody wants to make an impact in the life of ordinary people, people in the rural areas, people in the small island. When natural disaster strikes, all those situations, digital inclusion, how do we make sure that all the population, including the marginalized people, disabled people, can use ICT to improve their life? So it's just fantastic. In terms of broadband for sustainable development, that's been the key theme here at, uh, at the conference. What does that actually mean? You know, we have been talking about broadband um, for a long time. Broadband is about infrastructure. But what you're saying here, we don't continue to talk about broadband infrastructure and services. We are talking about now using broadband, particularly mobile broadband in the developing countries for sustainable development, which means using it for some basic services like education, like health, like agriculture. If you do, we could use broadband in those services, e-commerce, we can change the life of people. This is what it is about, sustainable development. It's the development should be sustainable, and broadband is key for that today in a knowledge society. And finally, what outcomes would you like to see come from this conference? A plan that implementable and where we are going to measure what impact we made in the lives of ordinary people in the forthcoming years. I insist we have to make impact in the lives of ordinary people. And more importantly also, put this very powerful tool of ICTs in their hand so they can themselves uh, pursue their development goals. Mr. Senator, thank you very much indeed for your presence in the studio today and very best of luck with the rest of the conference. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching too.